Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we've got a new synopsis that reveals some massive spoilers, and also we're going to be going over a photo, sort of reel, and also the description for the episode prior to this, so I'm talking about the Failure is an Orphan episode, and then the Time Bomb episode, which will air just a week later after Failure is an Orphan. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, yes, we're going to be going over the episode 16 photos and synopsis, and then we're going to be going over the episode 17 synopsis, which is my main thing I want to talk about, because it reveals some major stuff. So let's first talk about the episode 16 stuff, I guess it goes in order, and this episode, like I said, is titled Failure is an Orphan, so this is a take on a quote that says failure is an orphan. At first when I saw it, I thought failure is not an option, but that's like a film quote. I don't actually remember, but it's some sort of action film. And so let's go ahead and discuss this synopsis, so it goes, the meta the meta cure is ready to use on Cicada. With the meta human cure ready to use, Barry and Team Flash must figure out a way to subdue Cicada long enough to take it. Killer Frost steps in to help with the plan. Meanwhile, Joe eases back into work and Nora isn't happy with about the way her dad plans to stop Cicada. Okay, so this isn't anything too special. So the meta human cure is ready, we knew that, and Baron Team Flash must find a way to subdue Cicada long enough to take it, so to use the cure. This has happened in the past episodes, like, they tried to do that, like, multiple times recently. Like, how can we actually subdue Cicada so we can, you know, either kill him or use now the mass human cure? So, nothing really to break down. I'm just sort of thinking, after this episode, is Cicada going to stick around? I have this feeling that Cicada might actually go away and the main villain, as we know there is the Godspeed episode which is just two episodes after episode 18. Is he going to take over or is it Reverse Flash that's going to take over? Because, I don't know, I just don't feel like Cicada's gonna last till the end of the season, that's just my thing. Because the Metacure is ready now, I don't see why it wouldn't work on Cicada. So Killer Frost steps in to help with the plan because we know Killer Frost isn't able to be subdued by Cicada by his dagger because she's not a real true metahuman, she was made in a different way. So the other part of the synopsis says, meanwhile Joe eases back into work. So yes, Joe is back for, this is his second episode, we'll see him next episode, I believe it's later next week, at the start of next week, I don't know. But we're really close to episode 15, which is the Gr Gorilla Grodd and King Shark episode. And Joe is back finally in that episode, so it's going to be amazing to see Jesse L. Martin back. And so he's going to be easing back into work in episode 16 as well. And so Nora isn't happy about the way her dad plans to stop Cicada. So they obviously come up with a way how to stop him so they can use a metahuman cure. But obviously it's some way that she doesn't agree with which I'm not sure what it is, but let's go ahead and break down the photos for episode 16, and then we will talk about the major stuff I want to talk about in episode 17 in the synopsis. Okay, so the first photo we see of Sherlock inside Star Labs, nothing too special, he's smiling, maybe he's found out something about, you know, Nora and potentially who she's working with, I guess, and we go over and we're in the cortex, we see Iris, Cisco, Caitlin, and Nora, as they're just all kind of staring at someone. I'm guessing it's someone presumably talking, maybe it's Barry. But yes, moving over to the next shot, we're in like a different part of Star Labs, and they've got like four coffee cups, and Iris is drinking coffee and whatever. And they're just all talking, so Barry, Nora, and Iris. So they're having some sort of conversation. I it doesn't seem like it's an argument because in the next photo we see that Nora and Iris actually cuddle in that same specific spot so it's a happy conversation that's what we can gauge from it and the next photo we see Barry as he's sort of leaning in as they're all talking together so again seems very happy and it seems like they're kind of in a good place right now which is probably going to flip as we go into episode 17 but we'll talk about that I keep on teasing it 
but we'll finally get to that very soon. And so this next photo is in CC Jitters of the three again, and Barry's looking at his phone. So again, in this other photo that I'm not including, it's just basically the same, but they're smiling, so seems to be pretty happy, but I'm guessing maybe he gets called away to stop Cicada in that scene because he's on his phone. And so moving over to the next photo, we see Joe finally back and Joe's with Barry at the CC PD and Barry's just in his lab. We haven't seen him there in a while since like the start of season five. So that's kind of interesting. That's exciting to be back there. And you see this photo of Joe face on kind of looking like season one Joe with his suit. And I really do like that because recently well, the last time we saw Joe was, I believe it was episode 4, and because Jesse's back problems, he was mainly inside the house, so he wasn't in his full police get-up, so I'm excited for that. And so we go over and we see this photo of Barry, it's just a nice photo of him in his flash suit, presumably confronting Cicada, because it does seem like it's in this same alley that you get this next photo of Cicada and Cicada's holding his dagger and I do believe Cicada's probably gonna get taken out in this episode with the metahuman cure. I don't see how he's going to follow on unless it's something to do with Grace. I don't know what's happening with Grace as we go on further. Maybe they ignore that, maybe they forget about it because we had that teaser that she sort of powers Cicada, that she has this version of Cicada inside her head. So very interesting but I don't know if they're gonna continue that. And I don't think it's a wise idea to drag on Cicada till the end of the season. Because, you know, we still got quite a while to go, you know. We have, I believe, 23 episodes in this season. And this episode will be episode 16. So if you take him out, you have seven episodes more to either make Reverse Flash the villain. Or to, you know, add in Godspeed. And maybe Godspeed's the villain for the back half. I don't know. But the last photo is of Killer Frost. And she's in some sort of um, Central City University maybe jumper it seems because it says CCU and she's I have no idea why Killer Frost is in this but maybe it's some sort of disguise but anyway let's move on to the big topic sorry that that took a little longer than expected but we're finally breaking this down so this is for episode 17 titled Time Bomb and we'll talk about why it's titled Time Bomb in a second. So here is how it goes. Nora decides to tell Barry and Iris the, f the truth about Thorn. Team Flash finds out that a suburban mum named Vicky Bolan is in danger and they race to save her. Upon meeting her, they discover she's a metahuman who is hiding her abilities from her family. Barry encourages Vicky to share her secret with her family, which makes Nora realize she needs to come clean with her parents about Thorn. Oh my god, this is massive. So the reason why it's titled Time Bomb most likely is definitely to do with the fact that Nora is going to be dropping this massive figurative bomb on Barry and Ira saying, I am working with Thorn in the future. And that's why it's a time bomb. I believe, unless there is some sort of literal time bomb in this episode, maybe it is reverse flashes ticking, ticking thing in his cell, I don't know, but yeah, that's really interesting, so let's break down the synopsis, so Nora decides to tell Barry and Iris the future, the truth, sorry, about Thorn, so if she does this, everything is going to change, we know from the set in episode 18, Barry 100% finds out about Thorn already and they go to the future so that's utterly intriguing and this confirms that yes in this episode 100% Barry and Iris well I don't know about Iris but definitely Barry finds out about Thorn and Nora working together so this is going to presumably create a massive rift between them because I don't see how it doesn't because Thorn is Barry's greatest enemy, and even if Nora has been manipulated, as I'm presuming she has been, she's still working with Thorn, and she knows about Thorn being Barry's worst enemy, not even just his biggest villain, but being someone that affected her past and affected Barry's childhood. So, yeah, it's going to be massive. 
So Team Flash finds out about a suburban mum named Vicky Bolan is in danger and they try to race to save her. So I don't know if this person, Vicky, is actually being attacked by Cicada or, like I said earlier, as I was theorising, is Cicada gone by now and is this someone else? Is this a link to the future? I don't know. But it could be Cicada. Upon meeting her, they discover she's a meta-human who's hiding her abilities from her family. So, she's hiding her abilities from her family, presumably her powers are, I guess, pretty strong, pretty different from a normal human, so I, I can understand why she would do that. And Barry encourages Vicky to share her secret with her family. And so this is the bit with Barry encouraging Vicky to share a secret that influences Nora's idea to think, oh, maybe I should actually, maybe it will be a good idea to come clean to my parents about Thorn. No, it's not. She is going to be in such big shit. She's going to be in a shithole literally after this. But yeah, we know in episode 18, titled Godspeed, directed by Daniel Panabaker, we're going to be seeing Barry in the future with Nora as they see this version, this other version of Nora with the long haired ponytail that goes over her shoulder actually fighting Godspeed and all we really know about that episode is they're going to be in the future for most of the episode and they're going to be presumably looking back at a time where Nora was actually fighting Godspeed even though Godspeed's not actually mentioned in the Flash Museum which is very intriguing maybe he's just so new that they've had no time to actually include anything and he potentially may be the season 6 villain or he takes over from Cicada at the end of this season which either way I'll be very happy but I'm kind of rooting for a season 6 villain from him and maybe reverse Flash to sort of take over the role of the main villain in the back half of this season so that's just me, my theories, you know, what I want. But this is going to be such a massive revelation that Nora is exposing her actually working with Thorn, working with the person that goes against everything that she stands for as a hero and a speedster, working with a villain that literally killed her grandmother. So, oh, shit's about to go down. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So let me know in the comments down below how excited are you guys does this all really intrigue you? The time bomb episode and also the a bit less exciting failure is an orphan episode. But I guess it will lead into this episode. And then the time bomb episode, episode 17, leads into episode 18, Godspeed. I cannot wait for that episode. That is my most anticipated. But this is really anticipated as well because this is such a massive reveal. It's going to shake things up. And we know Barry is going to tell Nora in episode 18 to not go see Thorn again, to not work with him. So presumably Thorn is still in prison at this point. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Turn on notifications because YouTube can sometimes be a bit dodgy. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.